It's late at night when strange looking spores begin falling from the sky all over Earth. One lands in the middle of a music festival. A larva sprouts out of it and moves to the nearest person, entering the body through his ear and causing him to pass out. Then a woman enters the room and tries to wake him up, to no avail. After she leaves, the guy wakes up and his eyes roll in a creepy way before going back to the festival. The woman sees him and tries to approach him, only for the man to suddenly transform into a tentacle-like creature with flesh blades that immediately kill her. The crowd begins to panic and running away while the creature starts killing every person its tentacles can reach. In town, Lee tries to buy meat and the cashier Sue and explains he forgot to ask the butcher for the price tag. Lee begins yelling with entitlement and swear he'll kill them all before leaving without buying anything. When Sue and shift is finally over, she leaves on her moped and notices that Lee is following her on a car. Suddenly the vehicle hits her from behind and makes her fall off the road, then Lee gets out and begins stabbing her with a knife. Sue in manages to push him off and tries to escape, but she soon falls because of her wounds. At that moment a spore falls from the sky next to her and Lee gets sliced open, dying on the spot. Then the police show up. At the station, Detective Chulmin is told about various deadly incidents that happened in last few hours and how mysterious Lee's death is. Chulmin is shocked to hear the victims is Sue in, who he met before, but more shocking is to hear she's just fine after being hit by a car and stabbed, in fact she has no new scars. At the hospital, Sue in dreams of her mother, who has a new life with a son and pays Sue in to never show up at her door again. When she wakes up, she discovers Chulmin is visiting. She tells him about the guy at the supermarket and how the stabbing felt familiar. It turns out Sue in used to be abused by her father as a child and Chulmin was the detective to save her. After the detective leaves, Sue in tries to remember what happened and recalls her body shaking like crazy. A few months later, a gang leader enters a club and is attacked Kang Wu, who is pretending to be an employee. A fight ensues and after lots of struggle, the gang leader overpowers Kang Wu before running out to get help. Kang Wu panics and runs through the back door, dropping the employee vest on the way out. Then he takes the bus and at the station, he sends a message to his own gang members, explaining the attack failed and he has to lie low for now. Eventually he makes it to his family home and discovers his sister Kyung Hee is behaving awkwardly and that the other one isn't around. He finds his sister's phone in a drawer but it isn't working well and a pamphlet for the Sajin Church, which has a weird logo and promotes a prayer meeting happening that night. In the meantime, Soo In is going home on a bus when suddenly she hears a painful screeching noise at the same time a strange man comes aboard. The man stares at Soo In as he makes his way to his seat, which makes Soo In scared and get off the bus. Elsewhere in the city, a woman invites a guy to do the dirty at her home, however he's surprised to see he's being taken to an abandoned building. As he notices that the ground is covered with plastic, a bunch of men enter the room and start discussing how to kill him. The guy takes out his phone to call for help, only for the woman to transform into a monster and attack. Before she can hurt him, a bunch of smoke bombs are thrown into the room, allowing the victim to run away. The woman starts chasing after him, but when they reach the stairs, a bunch of special agents come in and shoot her dead. The group of men begins transforming into monsters too and a fight ensues as both groups attack each other. The agents have special nets that they use to capture the monsters and get most of them except for one that escapes through the window. As the monster runs around, he hears a high-pitched noise coming from a van. Inside he finds a man strapped to a seat with a helmet on and asks him if he's one of their kin. However he's interrupted by Jun Kyung, who quickly opens fire on the monster. The creature gets hurt but still manages to run away. Afterward Jun Kyung and her team search the building and find a mysterious door. They break it open and are horrified to discover tons of human body parts kept in containers. The symbol from the church pamphlet is on many walls, and Jun Kyung realizes the monsters are banding together. Back at Kang Wu's house, Kyung Hee talks to somebody on the phone about recruiting Su In into their organization. As she leaves to go, Kang Wu secretly follows her. Meanwhile Su In hears the same weird noise again and sees the strange man from the bus. He begins chasing her and Su In runs into a junkyard, where the man teams up with Kyung Hee to corner her. As Kang Wu watches from a hiding place, the man and Kyung Hee transform into monsters. They take some of Su In's hair, causing her to transform as well but only partially. The duo gives her a pamphlet and ask her to join their organization, saying their kin must work together. After the man and Kyung Hee leave, Kang Wu tries to escape too but he makes noise and Su In finds him. She hits him before trapping him with the tentacle and learns that his sister is one of her kin, so she asks him to pass a message. Moments later, Su In wakes up from her possession and Kang Wu tells her everything. The night Lee attacked her, a parasite entered her body, took over, and killed Lee. However because the parasite had been so busy healing her wounds, it wasn't able to fully control her brain like it's happening to other humans. The message from the parasite ends with a warning, don't go near people that cause the noise because they're monsters. Then Kang Wu leaves, taking the pamphlet with him. When she returns home, Su In writes a question on a notebook before lying down. She blinks and notices several minutes have passed, there's also an answer on the notebook. The parasite has confirmed Kang Wu's words and invites Su In to ask questions, so writes down a bunch of them. Eventually Su In falls asleep and dreams of how her possessed body killed Lee. In the morning, 
She finds all the answers to her questions on the notebook, which she reads on the bus to work. Because the parasite failed to completely take over Suin's brain for good, now it can only take control for 15 minutes a day. The parasite's job now is to protect and take care of Suin's body since it's its home now. The parasite even left a video of the transformation on her phone as proof. At the police station, Chulmin is surprised to find a special operation going on. There are armed agents everywhere and all cops are scanned before entering. Next all the officers are taken to a room where they meet Jun Kyung, captain of the parasite special forces known as Team Grey. She explains that the parasitic organisms have appeared all over Earth and matched up with human hosts, showing video of the festival killings to prove it. She also reveals the dead body of a possessed man, which leaves everyone in shock. The parasites take control of the host's brains and the people's consciousness are completely absorbed, making them not human anymore. The creatures that complete their mutation follow their instincts and kill humans by making blades with their tentacles. If a parasite doesn't have a living host body it will die, so the best way to kill them is by making the host body bleed out or destroy the heart entirely. To identify them, they must pluck out a strand of hair from the host body. If the strand of hair crumbles away then there's a parasite living in the human. Next Jun Kyung brings out the man on the chair from earlier, who happens to be her possessed husband. The helmet has a device that dispenses a chemical capable of immobilizing parasites. It also has a sensor that monitors if the parasite transforms itself in order to escape. If this happens, the chemical dispenses and the parasite experiences a lot of pain. Parasites can use brain waves to detect other parasites that are near them, so they're keeping this one alive to use as bait and capture others. This guy has received the name hunting dog and when Jun Kyung presses a button on the remote, the body wiggles in pain. One of the officers wonders if this counts as torture of a human being, so Jun Kyung removes her ear, revealing it's a prosthetic. Her husband cut off the real one, so she doesn't see him as the man she loved anymore. It's not human, just a virus that needs to be exterminated. The meeting ends with Jun Kyung telling the police force to come to Team Grey with any suspicious cases they come across. Meanwhile Kang Wu takes his sister's phone to a repair shop and learns that the rival gang has been asking around him. Then he goes to a bike shop and while he tries to choose a model, the mechanic makes a call. Soon the rival gang arrives at the shop, so Kang Wu starts fighting them using any object he can find in the room. He manages to push the men off and when a second van with gang members arrive, he quickly escapes on a bike. The van begins chasing him so Kang Wu goes through the market hoping to lose them, only to fall instead. He continues to escape on foot and after taking a corridor, he manages to lock a door behind him to slow the men down. Then Kang Wu retrieves his bike and returns to the street, where he punches another gang member before finally leaving. At Team Grey's work site, Detective Wansok brings Jun Kyung all the strange case files he could find, including Su In's. He also says that he wants to join Team Grey. Jun Kyung tells him that if he actively cooperates, she'll put in a good word for him. During lunch break, Chulmin meets Su In because he's worried her fast recovery may mean she's a monster. He pretends she has something on her hair to pluck a strand but it doesn't disappear, so now he thinks she's fine. While they chat, Su In starts to hear the noise and sees a man staring at her, but he goes away when he sees she has company. Before leaving, Chulmin gifts Su In a cute keychain. After work, Su In is approached by Kyung Hee and the guy from the bus again, who tell her their pastor wants to see her. They force her to get in the car by threatening to hurt the humans in the area. At the same time Kang Wu wants to find his other sister, so he goes to Sajin Church and hides among the trees to record the people arriving. At that moment he notices a second building nearby and goes to check it out. Inside the church, the parasites awkwardly stand around to listen to Pastor Hyuk Ju, who they consider their leader. He plays a video message from the parasite that escaped from Jun Kyung, explaining that special forces are after them and that they have a parasite as a prisoner. He tells everyone that if they don't come up with a plan quick, Team Grey will eliminate them all. Then the parasite dies from the wounds made by Jun Kyung's gun. Hyuk Ju offers the crowd a long speech about how they should work together to bring humanity down. In the other building, Kang Wu finds tons of dead bodies in bags hanging from hooks. At that moment a guard comes in and starts looking around with the eye in his tentacle, so Kang Wu carefully sneaks around, noticing that the monster face can't see when the eye is out. On his way out, he's devastated to discover his other sister is one of the bagged bodies. After taking a moment to grieve, he furiously jumps out of hiding and attacks the guard, punching him a few times before running out of the building and locking the door. This is sensed by Hyuk Ju, who sends the crowd to capture the intruder. As the parasites move, they accidentally bump into Su In and cause her to drop her keys. Back to Kang Wu, he's running through the woods when he encounters the rival gang. He tries to warn them of the incoming danger, but they don't listen. At that moment Kyung Hee and the parasites arrive and immediately start killing all the gang members with their freaky tentacles. Both Kang Wu and Su In use this opportunity to escape and they bump into each other, so they run away together. The parasite from the bus notices someone escaped and transform into a flying shape to go after them. Kang Wu and Su In make it to a gas station where Kang Wu had agreed to meet with a fellow gang member. They get in the guy's car and as they drive away, Kang Wu realizes his friend is a traitor who told the rivals where he was. 
The guy takes out a knife and tries to attack Kang Wu, so the car starts moving like crazy as the men fight on the front seats. At that moment Su In hears the noise and the flying parasite lands on top of the car, breaking the roof. Su In's parasite takes over and starts fighting the enemy while the car continues to shake. Using his knife, Kang Wu's friend tries to help, but a tentacle stabs him to stop him. Kang Wu then makes a sudden turn in the car to throw the flying parasite off, losing control of the vehicle in the process. Su In jumps off the car right before it hits a tree and hangs off a cliff. Then the flying parasite attacks Su In and their fight restarts in the middle of the road. The enemy realizes Su In is a mixed mutant and tries to fly away to warn the pastor, so Su In grabs him with a tentacle and smashes him on the ground, causing enough bleeding to kill him before passing out. In the car, Kang Wu wakes up and hears from his friend that it was their boss who put in orders to kill him. Then the guy dies. Kang Wu tries to climb out of the car, only to slip and end up hanging off the edge. At that moment Su In wakes up as human and comes to help him, but she isn't fast enough. As Kang Wu falls, the parasite takes over again and saves him with her tentacles. At the police station, Jun Kyung finds Su In's case file and concludes she's a parasite. A flashback then shows Jun Kyung and her husband had been loading their car at the supermarket when she realized they forgot something, so she went back inside. At that moment a spore landed on top of their car and the parasite immediately came out to enter the guy's ear. Minutes later Jun Kyung saw people running around in panic and her husband calmly walking by. When she tried to approach him, he transformed and attacked her, cutting off her ear. Jun Kyung ran away and helped a kid return to the mother. Then she grabbed some toxic cleaning products and ran to the fridge. Her husband followed her, so she threw the product at him to distract him then ran out to lock the door before having a breakdown. In the present, Jun Kyung wakes up from another nightmare about the incident. In the morning, Kang Wu and Su In are hiding at a motel. They agree they should tell the police about the church, so Su In gives Chulmin's number to Kang Wu so he can make an anonymous call on the payphone. Afterward they also agree they need to lie low for now, so Kang Wu pretends to be Su In's relative and calls the supermarket to say she's too sick to go to work. Then Chulmin goes to see Jun Kyung, who asks about Su In. Chulmin assures her that he checked her hair and it was fine before telling her about the anonymous report. Both Team Grey and the police force immediately head to the church, sending out a drone first. There are no parasites around, and Jun Kyung reminds Hunting Dog to press the remote if he senses anyone coming. The teams break into the buildings and find all the dead bodies in the bags. In the church, Chulmin finds Su In's keys and recognizes the keychain so he hides them in his pocket, which is seen by Jun Kyung. Later the forensic team explains all the bodies were mutilated to hide their identities. The body parts have been mixed, so it'll take a while to identify all the different DNA. The church is under Hyuk Ju's name because he used to be a pastor as a human too, and his in-laws reported him and his wife missing a few weeks ago. Wansok volunteers to go looking for him. A few hours later, Wansok arrives at a mysterious building where Hyuk Ju and other parasites are hiding with more bodies. It turns out Wansok is working with them and he warned them to escape the church before the agents arrived. Hyuk Ju asks Wansok to kill Hunting Dog and gives him a blade that simulates their tentacles. At the motel, Kang Wu is surprised nothing parasite related is on the news. Su In receives a phone call from Chulmin asking to meet and they choose an abandoned amusement park. When Chulmin leaves the station, Jun Kyung sees him and follows him. Kang Wu goes with Su into the park and Chulmin gives her the keys as he demands an explanation. Suddenly Su In hears the painful noise, it turns out Jun Kyung has brought hunting dog and he's telling her of a parasite nearby, so she enters the park. Su In tries to run away and when Chulmin stops her, Kang Wu gets in a fight with him and the detective recognizes his voice from the phone. At that moment Jun Kyung finds them but before she can shoot, Kang Wu pushes Chulmin to make her fall. Then Su In and Kang Wu run to hide inside one of the abandoned rides while Jun Kyung chases after them. At the same time, Team Grey and the police arrive at the park. Wansok also comes and looks for hunting dog. Inside the ride building, Kang Wu activates the game to distract Jun Kyung but it doesn't work. The parasite takes over Su In and tells Kang Wu to run while she handles this. After Kang Wu leaves through the back door, Su In attacks Jun Kyung with her tentacle to knock her down before running out too. Unfortunately she's soon surrounded by the agents. Outside, Kang Wu watches Wansok repeatedly stab Hunting Dog, who is using the remote to send a warning. Jun Kyung sees the light on the remote and thinks there's another parasite nearby, so he leaves with her team after telling the cops to keep an eye on Su In, who passes out. Chulmin immediately comes to her defense and tries to tell his men to lower their guns. By the time Jun Kyung finds Hunting Dog, he's already dead and Wansok is gone. Kang Wu runs away through the woods and Wansok sneaks into the building through the back, pretending he's always been with his team. A furious Jun Kyung takes the helmet back into the building and after Team Grey takes Chulmin away, she puts the helmet on Su In and arrests her. Later at the station, the teams are having a meeting with the higher-ups from Team Grey. Jun Kyung keeps calling Su In a monster, but Chulmin demands for the test results to be shared. The x-rays and a hair sample all came out negative for parasites. Currently Su In's in a coma and tied to hunting dog's chair. 
the higher-ups want to learn more about the parasites before telling the public, so they order the teams to bring Sue into Team Grey's headquarters to run more tests. Meanwhile Sue in is stuck in limbo between life and death. She looks around and sees her parasitic self, who Kang Wu has nicknamed Heidi after Mr. Hyde. Heidi explains that since Sue in is on the verge of dying, she split her consciousness from the outside world. As the machines in the real world detect weird brain activity, Heidi makes Sue in some memories from her childhood. First it's the time when her father got arrested and Chulmin saved her. People looked at her as if she was a monster for her report because a child was supposed to respect her father. The other memory house how little Sue and tried to contact her mother, but the woman looked at her in disgust and paid her to go away. Heidi tells Sue and not to feel bad because she did the right thing and her mother was acting out of trauma since her husband also abused her. At the station, Wansok secretly calls Hyuk Ju to tell him about Sue and's transfer. Hyuk Ju confirms their plan is still on and goes outside to paint the organization's symbol on the door. In the meantime two officers find clues that Kang Wu was the guy with Sue in, so Chulmin decides to find him. Kang Wu is at the bus station reading the news on his phone, but they still don't mention the parasites. As soon as he boards a bus, Chulmin handcuffs him and drags him to his car. Desperate to buy his freedom, Kang Wu tells him about hunting dog's death. Chulmin shows him a picture of his team and Kang Wu points at Wansok. He also tells him the truth about what's happening to Su In. Chulmin decides to free Kang Wu and explains Su In will probably be experimented on at headquarters, so he wants him to help him save her. If Kang Wu agrees, then Chulmin can protect them both. At first Kang Wu refuses, but Chulmin changes his mind by calling him a coward and reminding him of his sisters. In the evening, Kang Wu uses Chulmin's access card to enter the station and sneaks into the locker room. There he fights an officer, who easily overpowers him and starts choking him. Thankfully Chulmin had given him pepper spray and Kang Wu uses it to distract and finally knock out the guy. Then he steals the uniform and enters the container where Su-in is being held. Before he can do anything, Jun Kyung passes by and announces they're leaving early, assigning Kang Wu as the guard to travel inside the container in case Su-in wakes up. Chulmin notices this and wants to help, but he's stuck in the same car as Wansok. A truck soon takes the container away as a bunch of police cars follow it for protection. However when they make it to the bridge, they find it a huge traffic jam created by a car crash. This was caused by a parasite, who starts attacking and killing civilians. Team Grey immediately rushes to fight him and Jun Kyung tells the truck drive to go back before joining the fight as well. While the cops evacuate any surviving civilians, Team Grey tries to stop the parasite, only to get killed one by one by the deadly tentacles. Soon more parasites arrive to help their friend. They drive a van right into the truck to slow it down, then a parasite jumps on the window to kill the driver. Jun Kyung fails to shoot the monster down and is pushed out of the way when the truck moves on and crashes against the cars. Kang Wu comes out and sees Jun Kyung is unconscious, so he takes her remote and tries to rush back. However Jun Kyung had been pretending and immediately starts fighting him. She manages to hold him down, but at that moment the parasites throw a car with their tentacles and she has to move away. Kang Wu uses the chance to rush back into the container while the parasites attack Jun Kyung, who has to stay on the bridge and shoot as many enemies as possible. While Kang Wu starts freeing Su In, a parasite starts breaking down the container, only to get shot by Chulmin. Inside Su In's mind, Heidi reminds her some people do care and shows her a memory of Chulmin protecting her before announcing it's time to go back. At that moment Kang Wu finally removes the helmet and Su In wakes up. Then Kang Wu and Su In steal a car to escape while ignoring the shots coming their way. Wansaw quickly gets in a car and yells for Chulmin to join him so they start following the duo. However after a few miles, Wansaw suddenly takes a different turn. At the same time Su In begins hearing the noise and realizes Chulmin is in danger, so she leaves the car to go rescue him. Wansok takes Chulmin to a deserted area and explains that as a cop, he saw the worst of humanity and that's why he joined the church. He thinks parasites are more rational than humans and could create a better society. At that moment Hyuk Ju shows up and Chulmin immediately starts shooting at him, but as Hyuk Ju falls to the ground, his parasite comes out and decapitates Chulmin in just one move. Then the parasite enters Chulmin's body, forming the head again. Suin sees all this and Heidi immediately comes out to throw a pipe at Chulmin, which does nothing. A fight ensues between both parasites as their tentacles keep on crashing. Wansok gets ready to help his leader, but suddenly Kang Wu arrives and speeds up to run between the parasites, forcing them to split. Heidi uses the chance to jump in the car and they drive away. A flashback then shows Kang Wu's other sister Jin Hee going home after work. Her dog kept barking at Kyung Hee, who was meeting with Hyuk Ju. Jin Hee thought her sister was sick, but Kyung Hee refused to go to the hospital and said her church was taking care of her. This wasn't good enough for Jin Hee, who wanted to call a doctor. At that moment the flying parasite showed up and said they should get rid of her. Kyung Hee suddenly released her tentacles and tried to attack, so Jin Hee ran away. The dog attacked the parasites, only to get killed. Seeing the flying parasite following her, Jin Hee ran to hit in the sewers, but unfortunately she was found. She tried sending out a message on her phone, but she got killed before she could finish. In the present, Kang Wu calls the last number Jin Hee dialed, 
which belongs to a friend of the family called Kisuk. The guy won't be home but allows Kang Wu to hide there for a while, texting him the alarm password. All the messages Kang Wu sends his friend are seen by Kyung Hee, who has access to her sister's messenger on the computer. At the police station, the higher-ups give Jun Kyung three days to completely eradicate the parasite organization. That way, an upcoming festival and an important national memorial to a war hero can go off without any issues. Chulmin is also there, pretending to still be human with Wansok's help. After the meeting, Chulmin looks at Su In's tests and realizes she's a mixed mutant. At that moment he gets a call from Kyung Hee, who tells him where Kang Wu and Su In are headed. Chulmin tells her that Su In is a mutant and orders her to take care of her. In the evening, Kang Wu and Su In make it to the apartment. Su In announces that she won't escape with Kang Wu anymore, she wants to speak with Jun Kyung and tell her about Chulmin and Wansok. When they watch the news, they discover that Team Grey is finally telling the public about the monsters and promises they're getting rid of them. When Kang Wu falls asleep, Su In takes money from his wallet and leaves. Kang Wu had only been pretending, but doesn't stop her. At the station, Chulmin and Wansok inform Jun Kyung about their discovery of the parasite's hideout, showing a picture of the painted door. They send a few cops to watch the area and find lots of people entering a supposedly abandoned building, so Jun Kyung announces an attack at sunrise. Moments later, Jun Kyung hears a phone in the evidence drawer ringing and discovers it's Su In, who tells her Chulmin and Wansok are monsters. Jun Kyung doesn't believe her, but she still asks her to meet up to talk. At the house, Kang Wu abruptly wakes up when Kisuk arrives. He tells him Jin he had been looking for him and that she was going to send her a DM. Kang Wu checks his sister's phone and finds a message that says don't come home no matter, meaning this is what she wrote when she got killed. Feeling guilty, Kang Wu decides to find Su In and help her. On the roof of a restaurant, Su In meets with Jun Kyung and admits she's a mutant. She repeats that Chulmin and Wansok are monsters, but Jun Kyung doesn't believe her since they helped find the parasite hideout. Su In tries to convince her it's a trap, but at that moment a bunch of agents come out with the helmet ready. Su In transforms into Heidi and jumps off the roof to escape. The agents open fire and are heard by Kang Wu, who follows the shots to find Heidi and take her away in the car. While Kang Wu drives, Heidi informs him that she won't be able to take over Su In's body and help her for three hours since she's been doing it too often. Then Heidi lets Su In return and Kang Wu shares what he's learned. Meanwhile Kyung Hee enters Ki Suk's house using the alarm password he texted. Ki Suk calls Kang Wu to tell him his sister is there, so Kang Wu begs him to run. Suddenly Kyung Hee pushes Ki Suk and takes the phone to ask Kang Wu to bring Su In to her, otherwise she'll kill Ki Suk. Su In thinks she can pretend to cooperate for three hours until Heidi is ready again, so they go back to the house. However Kyung Hee now knows she's a mutant and doesn't buy her acting. When Kyung Hee is about to attack, Kang Wu bursts in and sprays her with a fire extinguisher. This allows Kang Wu and Su In to run out, but Ki Suk decides to distract Kyung Hee and dies in the process. Su In drags a devastated Kang Wu to the car and they escape. At the station, Jun Kyung takes a strand of Wansok's hair and it doesn't vanish, so she thinks Su In was lying. At that moment she gets a call from Su In and Kang Wu who try to tell her about the trap again. When Jun Kyung doesn't believe them, Kang Wu explains he saw Kang Wu killed hunting dog with a weird ball day, but Jun Kyung orders her men to begin the attack while letting the duo listen on the phone. The team breaks into the hideout and finds a bunch of parasites, who get killed one by one without much trouble. Chulmin and Wansok even join in and kill a few monsters as well as they try to escape the building. At that moment Kyung Hee is arriving, but she decides not to get off the bus when she sees the leader has betrayed his people. Jun Kyung announces to Su In and Kang Wu that all parasites have been killed and hangs up. The duo is confused over this until Kang Wu notices a billboard announcing the festival. They realize the parasites wanted to trick the cops into thinking their organization is over and will strike at the festival to get to the mayor. Another flashback shows how Wansok learned the locals were worried about Hyuk Ju because he hadn't been seen in church in a week. He drove to his house and found the door open, so he came inside and found Hyuk Ju mumbling while staring at the TV. Then he noticed blood on the bedroom floor and went in to find the pastor's wife dead. As Wansok took out his gun, Hyuk Ju transformed and brought him down with a tentacle. Then, Hyuk Ju shared his plan to take over humanity, offering to let Wansok live if he helped him. In the present, Chulmin and Wansok announce on a press conference that most of the parasites have been eradicated except for Su In and Kyung Hee. He asks the public to report them if they see them and confirms that the festival and memorial will still be happening. Su In and Kang Wu watch the conference on a phone when suddenly they get a call from Kyung Hee, who wants to join forces to take down Chulmin. The duo agrees to meet with her to make a plan. At the station, Jun Kyung is finally becoming suspicious because she can't believe Chulmin has betrayed Su In. She confronts him about it and when he pretends he's worried about protecting the population, Jun Kyung asks him what object he tried to hide from her. Wansok makes up an excuse and takes Chulmin away, then both men agree they must get rid of her too. Moments later, Heidi takes over Su In to meet with Kyung Hee while Kang Wu hides. Su In explains that Chulmin killed his kin as part of his plan for parasites to take over the world, but Kyung Hee doesn't care and still wants to kill him. 
The women raise their voices and Kang Wu comes out, only for Kyung Hee to easily capture him with her tentacles. After she drops him, they all agree to be temporary allies. Back to Jun Kyung, she asks the forensics team to study hunting dog's wounds and confirms it wasn't a tentacle blade that did it, just a knife that was simulating one. Later, the higher-ups assign Jun Kyung the task of investigating a new church marked with the parasite symbol, a clue they received from Chulmin. Jun Kyung is suspicious but has no choice but to obey. As Team Grey heads to the church, Jun Kyung gets a call from Heidi, who informs her of Chulmin's real plan. Jun Kyung realizes the mission is fake and the real intention was to get Team Grey out of the way so the cops could be in charge of the festival, so she orders his men to go back. Meanwhile the festival is a success and the mayor arrives with Chulmin as protection. Kang Wu pretends to be a festival goer to keep an eye on things while the women stay in the parking lot since they'd be easily recognized. Suddenly they hear the screeching noise that announces a parasite is near. Chulmin fully transforms and begins attacking anyone in his way, so the cops try to evacuate the mayor. However Chulmin quickly uses his tentacles to stop them. When Team Grey arrives, Jun Kyung sees Su In and Kyung Hee and goes after them while her men enter the festival. Su In immediately transforms into Heidi and tells Kyung Hee to go ahead without her. Then she uses her tentacles to make some cars move and when Jun Kyung turns around to follow the noise, Heidi knocks her down from behind. Heidi announces she only wants to survive and not to hurt anyone, then she runs away. In the festival, Wansok pushes a food cart into Chulmin to send him into a tent, then everyone hears him open fire. When he comes out of the tent, he helps the mayor evacuate the area and Kang Wu follows them. By the time Team Grey and Jun Kyung make it to the tent, they find Chulmin's body headless. Backstage, Wansok reveals he has the leader hidden in his jacket and releases him. The parasite jumps on the mayor's bodyguard and immediately kills him. Then he tries going after the mayor himself, only to be pushed away by Kyung Hee's tentacle. Wansok gets ready to shoot her but Kang Wu comes in and tackles him while Kyun Hee tries to capture the leader, who is jumping all over the room until he finds a place to hide. When Kyun Hee tries to tell Kang Wu to run with the mayor, Wansok shoots her from behind. She immediately knocks him out, then she pushes Kang Wu and the mayor out of the way before bring down all the furniture to force the leader out. She apologizes to Kang Wu for his family before the leader pierces her heart, killing her. After Kang Wu and the mayor run away, the leader decapitates Wansok and takes over his body. Then he searches for the mayor, making his head really tall to look at the whole place. When he tries to attack, Kang Wu retaliates with some fireworks from a festival stand, but Wansok reaches out and grabs the mayor anyway. Thankfully Heidi shows up and stops him just in time. Kang Wu takes the mayor away while Heidi begins fighting Wansok, destroying the whole room as their tentacles clash over and over. Soon Wansok realizes he can't win and decides to run to the memorial room, where he asks Heidi to join him. She can't see that the back of his head is empty and the leader's actual parasite body is sneaking around. A new fight begins between Heidi and Wansok that causes more destruction. The parasite jumps through a glass to knock down Heidi, then it jumps into Wansok's body to re-energize him before splitting again so they can hide. Heidi continues to search for them but at that moment, Jun Kyung comes in with her gun. She doesn't know who she should shoot, and the parasite is approaching her from behind. Heidi releases a tentacle to kill the leader as he jumps at the same time Jun Kyung sees Wansok's empty head on a reflection, so she quickly shoots him down. After the enemy is finally defeated, Heidi says she wants to trust humans and passes out. Kang Wu runs into the room to check on her and Team Grey also comes in to arrest them, but Jun Kyung orders her men to take them to the hospital because they're both human. Weeks later, Su In is back at a convenience store job. After her shift is over, she meets with Kang Wu, who shares that he's now working as a member of Team Grey. He also reveals that Heidi sent him a letter asking him to read it for Su In. Heidi's message says she's glad to have Su In as a host and to have failed to take over her brain. Before leaving, Kang Wu points out Team Grey would be happy to have her. Meanwhile Jun Kyung meets with a mysterious Japanese man who claims to be a journalist and expert on parasites. He reaches out his hand for a handshake, but Jun Kyung doesn't take it because she sees something weird on it. This is Shinichi, the protagonist of the original comic. 